minus five. Three, two, one, zero, and lift off. Friday o'clock because we were having a few technical issues, but uh, we've managed to resolve them. Technical issues. I've got a time moving now. I can't. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey. Terry's having technical issues with a sweet in his mouth. <laughs> 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 but anyway, let's have a quick look in the uh, oh, payday. Payday. I, I, that's the day I love. I love payday. Until you eat, never get more money. <laughs> right, okay, so let's have a look in the chat. Mm -hmm. Uh, right, we've got Captain Kirk, we've got Dave Cullen, we have Patrick Morris. Patrick's got a very bad eye, so he can't watch the show. So oh, nice that's all I say. Rest of the eye. It's all right, Patrick, we'll keep an eye out for you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Captain Kirk. Captain Kirk, 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 I can't I can't That's it so far, yeah. We've got Suzanne. Yes, Carly Machine. Hello, Suzanne. Yeah. We got we got we got Mickey Moo who's eating his tea. He didn't tell me what he's got for tea. I'll tell him it all come around later, but uh, yeah. And we have recovery drone. Howdy folks. Oh, that's Dre. Marcus is cousin. And Paul. Dre. He is and Chuck. Wait. Chuck, Chuck's and out. Jimmy, for a beer. Good old Jimmy, is there. I'm not mentioning food, but Chuck did. He said he's out for a beer and food. Mm. Right. Brian's here. Caroline's here. Sweet Caroline. <laughs> it has to be done. Every single it has to be done. It has to be. Right. Stevie Knowles, drone finder. Oh, oh Stevie, Stevie Knowles. He's. Coming out in September. September. Mm. Hopefully, meet up with him again then. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, well, he's, a, he's a jinx. <laughs> no, he's the ultimate drone seeker. <laughs> Lee, we lose our drones. Here. Quackers. Hi, Quackers. What turkey said to turkey farm. Quack. Hello, Hello, Ray. Ray Kelly. Hello, Our host. host. Oh, look at that Hi, lovely Ray. little water. All different North colors. East FPV is here. Um, Simon. No, and Lauren is here. And Lauren, the lovely Lauren. Jay Bird. Lauren. Jones here. Jay Bird. Jeannie, hey, Johnny, hi, Jeannie. How you doing? Jeannie Jones, Flyer. Jeannie with the um, magic lamp. <laughs> Mr. Johnny. Mr. Johnny's here. I can't see him. Oh, Rick's here. Oh, Johnny Rick. Drone Fly, yeah. Hey. Facebook users here. That was Ray. I think, oh, that's, Ray. I think that's Captain Ray, yeah. Uh, I guess it's here. Alan's back from Morocco. Maria. Oh, 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 Maria. Maria. And Jerry's here. And Jerry. oh, that one. oh, Michael. Talk about it. I'm talking to you. Oh. Michael. Perhaps his ears were burning. Yeah. Yeah. And we have Captain, Captain Joe America. Captain, Captain Joe. Joe. Captain Joe. That's right. There he is. Captain Joe, Captain how are you? How are you, Ray? Right. Got a lot of captains, oh. haven't we? Sure, we got, got yeah. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Uh, we're getting to the end of now. The list getting longer, though. That's it. I think I think I'll go in if I have missed you. My apologies in advance. I don't know. <laughs> right. Okay. So um, before we start, um, I'm going to pass you over to Marcus because Marcus wants to say a few words. So, Marcus, the floor is yours. Thank you, Steve. So just one of the things that I want to acknowledge, we're having a lot of fun on this drone show and we're joking around. But what we have to remember every day is there are men and women that are putting their lives on the line for the freedoms that we take, honestly, probably take for granted a lot. 
Uh, yesterday, we lost three American servicemen uh, that were killed in a uh, in a drone attack in in uh, in Jordan, uh, and a number of others uh, injured. And uh, we just don't want that to be forgotten, and we don't want their lives to be lost in vain. We want to acknowledge them, and our hearts go out to their families and their and their loved ones. And uh, we just never want to forget that. And uh, yeah, on with the show. Excellent. Well said. Yeah. Indeed. Your mark, yeah. Indeed. Indeed. That to be said. Right, just quick say hello to Barclay and Northside Hawk. So welcome Dominic. to the show. 37 people currently watching the show, so 37 likes would be nice. Thank you. Okay. Right, so without further ado, um, I've got a bit of a problem. I had a few problems, so um, I can't actually introduce our, our guests the way we normally do, so I'm just going to bring them straight in tonight. And uh, all the way from Australia, it is Ross. Australia. Yeah. Hey, Ross. Hey, hey. hey good day. Hello, Ross. <laughs> Ross, so, uh, so, so what time What time is it in Australia today, Ross? Uh, good question. It's uh, ten past six in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Monday morning. We're seeing that's, Sunday. That's tomorrow. <laughs> He's in the future. Ross has gone back to the yeah. future. <laughs> we're, we're, yeah. always ahead of, we're always ahead of the rest of the world, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm convinced Ross. that's what the hat he was wearing earlier. No, yeah. Yeah, Ross. 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 Yeah, you, mean, you mean this one? <laughs> <laughs> Ross, can you tell us something? Did England beat India in the cricket? Yep. Because it's tomorrow there, usually. <laughs> <laughs> and you had, um, didn't you have a, a, a Catholic cricket player? Hit, a, hit almost a double century? Yes, yeah, 192. Pope. Yeah, the Pope. Yeah. I didn't realise he played cricket. Uh-huh, <laughs> yeah. He needs a wheelchair to be pushed up and down, though. <laughs> Hey, let's not also forget that the, the, the San Francisco 49ers are going to just kick the heck out of the Detroit Lions uh, this evening uh, in the, in the uh, uh, football match. So there's that. Yeah. And you wait till we hear some of the people in the chat go after me on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know either of those teams. All so I you know, get back, you all get back to the cricket. They get back to the cricket, um, Terry, the <laughs> The West yeah. Indies uh, beat Australia for the first time in 30 years yesterday. Whereabouts? No, uh, Sorry? At the WACA? No, at, uh, at the Gabba, here. Oh, at the Gabba, in, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, dear. I was watching it, watching it live on telly. It was a fantastic <laughs> that's, that's, that's pretend cricket. <laughs> Yeah, that's, he, he's talking about 2020. <laughs> no, I'm talking about test cricket. Uh, that's test proper cricket. cricket. Yeah. Love yeah. watching. Barkley says you're delirious. That's probably one of many conversations we're going to have there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Can I just say we flying. had a fantastic day flying on Friday. We went to the most scenic spot in the world, and it was fantastic. There were just four of us, wasn't there, Jack? Yeah. It was, it was lovely, really, yeah. Really blue, good. blue sky. Hot so, water. So, so let me ask you, Terry, have the uh, Spanish drone seekers with all the Avadas, has it, has it just become a drone crashing contest? <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, you could be oh, forgiven yeah. for thinking yeah, that. I was very yeah. concerned anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I hit a yellow bumblebee. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, it's that good fun. Really See, love it's it. Like, it's like drone wrestling, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, in the US, we'd call it a destruction derby. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's it, more like what it was. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it reminds me of that program I used to watch for the robots, Robot Wars. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. It was a yeah. great. Yeah. It's just You're called watching. Drone Wars instead. Like that. that. <laughs> yeah. That's on every oh, night, yeah. every night of the week, Drone uh, uh, Robo Wars. I love yeah. it. Absolutely yeah. love um, it. Bumper Carlton of Arters. 
You're oh, just a bunch of children. You're just a bunch of little children. <laughs> Demolition derby with drones. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 Dave. No one's going to mention it yet for at least half an hour. And we're not going to mention what it is. Or food. <laughs> what, what, what does, what's that bird we're hearing behind you, Ross? Um, uh, they're pigeons. Oh, pigeons. Okay. <laughs> Australian uh, accent. Otherwise, otherwise named named Walter. Ah, there you go. Bird will never crush as the ground just gets That's true. Like one, Paul. Right. Who's going to mention? Going to mention first. I was on about food. No, I'm not about food. Let's, we've already I'm covered that, I think, haven't we? We have. Right, so Ross has been, um, <clears throat> as, as always, creating lots of um, wonderful videos, and um, some of which we're going to show tonight. In fact, I think the first one is going to be right about now. No. <laughs> Very good, Ross. Excellent again, again. So, so peace and calm and tranquil that video, and just like, <laughs> yeah, almost don't want it to end, really. <laughs> Let's make it longer next time. <laughs> That's how I try and make my videos, you know, calm and tranquil. All of our smashing into each other and stuff. Yeah. Um, there's a little yeah. message on here. I'll keep trying. <laughs> There's a little message there for me and Terry from um I don't know has gone there's vanished. <laughs> yeah. It's about about Jaffa Jaffa cakes. Cakes. yeah, Jaffa Cakes apparently will be they'll be turned around for um well, they are. Yeah. You, you can buy Jaffa cakes in Florida. I saw them. 
Steve, don't forget to bring Jaffa Cakes with you to South Florida drone me up. If you don't, you'll be turned around to customs. <laughs> <laughs> I saw them for sale when I was in Florida, so. Ah. Yeah, so bulky, buy your own Jaffa Cakes. <laughs> That's right, buy us some Jaffa Cakes. We like them, do we? Do you get Jaffa Cakes, Ross? Again? Jaffa Cakes. Do, do you have Sorry. Jaffa Cakes in, in Australia? Evidently, it's not in Australia. What? what? What are they? <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about them. They're horrible. You're not missing out. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> we do, but yeah, I don't eat them. It's Vegemite <laughs> on dry toast. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> well, well, okay, so, okay, you guys, while we've got Ross and we've got Terry, you guys need to explain to me what's the difference between Vegemite and Marmite? One's a Tommy oh brand, one's an Aussie brand. They <laughs> 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 both a bit weird, to be honest, Marcus. Have you ever tried it? No, no, no. My own saying that Vegemite is actually made from vegetables. Marmite's <laughs> not made from vegetables, is it? Or is yeah. it? No, I thought uh, it was... Have, you, have you tasted it before, Marcus? No, I never have, but I've, I've heard it's an acquired taste. Yeah, yeah. it's weird. I, mean, I, I'm, I love my uh, Vegemite. Um, well, it's a yeast extract. It was uh, designed... <laughs> It came from uh, an off, what do you call it? Uh, the rubbish that comes from beer, brewing beer. Byproduct. Yeah, yeah. yeah byproduct. And um, someone decided to use it as a uh, as a spread. <laughs> so I bet you might on paper. I'll be back. Uh, that's serious. Go get some. Barkley says, Marcus, one is disgusting. <laughs> 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 Terry, Terry's going to get some more mine now. No, he done. Oh, dear. <laughs> you know, I, I, you, you make a really good point, Ross. I, I really, I need to try it. I need to just see if I order some off on Amazon or something and try it. Just, Marcus, you want to try, get some Twiglets? Because Twiglets is a lot of pieces. Oh, no, they're of, horrible. A lot of pieces yeah. of wood with my mom. Yeah, exactly. It could have been worse. <laughs> Believe it or not. You, you put it on hey, toast. Alan says, both yeah, are good. Yeah. That wall paper. Oh, 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 beautiful. <laughs> but oh, my. Oh, okay, so that's a yeast yeah. extract. Oh, it's yeah. very yeah. similar, yeah. except for what you said that Vegemite is, isn't it, Ross? Yeah, it's the same. Bovril is a beef extract. Oh, I love Bovril. Yeah. I like Marmite. I like both of them. I've got some Bovril in the cupboard. Terry, Terry, I think the um, I think the uh, Vegemite's a, a lot stronger in flavour than uh, Marmite. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. I've got a jar coming also. over from Oz next week. Friends coming back, so she's going to bring me some Vegemite. I think that's full. Tim <laughs> Slam. <laughs> Well, Caroline, you've got to explain to me what a Tim Tam Slam is because it, it could be rude, I don't know. <laughs> it, it sounds kind of, I don't know, vaguely sexual there. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, getting back to videos then. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I got us off on a tangent there. <laughs> This is very true. The advert, Quackers points out, the advert says you either love it or hate it. There is no in between. You don't sort of like it. You either love it or hate it. Oh, I absolutely yeah. adore it. I love it. No, it should be banned. I don't even tax that stuff. <laughs> well, I, I think it's a good sign. If if Terry loves it, I, I, I see that as a good sign. Thank you, Marcus. That's mm. very kind Ross, of you. I've got a question for Ross. From uh, That's the one. Yeah. What to say, Jackie? I can't read the comments because I'm on the oh, mobile. It says, a few months ago, Ross blew up on YouTube with subscribers. Could you possibly ask him which videos set his channel off? Blew up on subscribers. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just in search of Took off in our words. Subscribers. Yeah. Um, well, that's an interesting story uh, on YouTube. Uh, they had this uh, beta uh, in the YouTube studio. They had this beta um, promotion. Yeah. So I clicked on it, and uh, it said, "Look, you just drop a hundred dollars, and we'll promote it. You know, to four countries." 
So I did that on a few videos, and um, yeah, and that's the that's the end result. Oh, right. I mean, there was a there was a video video I did on um, a, a brief brief down video of uh, the whales down at Tabarita Beach, humpback whale. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So and as a result of that promotion, um, I got twenty six thousand views. No. Wow. Yeah. Um, that was a very yeah, good I mean, video. There, there's um, there's a uh, a way to uh, increase your subscription, but you've got to pay for it, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, which I'm going to put a link to Ross's channel in the chat yeah, right now. You can do it. Yeah, check Rob. Uh, Ross's channel. And it, it'll only cost you a hundred dollars, Ross. <laughs> yeah, <what happened? laughs> every, yeah. every, every time you click, on, yeah, every time you click on Ross's channel, Ross has to pay a hundred dollars. You can't pay per click. A bloody expensive. Don't call me broken, painless for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the money that Ross makes out of his videos, it costs him more than that to watch people for watch. <laughs> So there we are. So just make Ross completely homeless. Click on his channel now. <laughs> <laughs> that should do it. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> right. Uh, another video, I think. Yeah, we've got sunrise. Another video? Yep. This one is Sunrise. At, I think, is it, is, it, is it Morton Bay or uh, Morton Bay, Ross? Uh, I'm not sure which video you're playing. Sunrise, you sun, sunrise at Morton Bay, I think it's called. Okay. <laughs> you know, you know, he's, <laughs> okay. Good surprise. Aren't you chewy? He doesn't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I think that's the video with the other. Uh, Sunrise at Morton Bay. Yeah, that's it. Was too short. Yeah, definitely too short. That's down at uh, the um, Manly Boat Harbour, uh, down on Morton Bay, and uh, you have to get in there early. I mean, Australians are, in, as a whole, are known for being early risers. So, you know, um, within within ten minutes of uh, finishing that uh, that shoot, place was packed, teeming with people. <laughs> <laughs> Ross, how what have we been to ask you? How is the actual drone laws in Australia? I mean, compared with the rest of the world, I mean, are they quite sort of like? Is it because obviously it's quite spacious? You know, you've got like an acre each to fly in, as it were. I mean, are the rules strict or? Oh, they're they're similar similar to um, you know to be at the USA or probably more closer to the USA than uh, Europe Europe and the UK. I mean the UK and uh, and Europe is now becoming almost draconian, you know, with the yeah. with the implementation of new rules there. Um, mm. And look, to be, to, a, to some extent, um, Australian rules are less um, less strict than uh, the US, and in other ways they aren't. Um, you know, you can't fly it if you don't have a commercial license. You cannot fly at night. Um, uh, where are we? You know, you have to be within 120 metres of above ground level, below the drone. Um, can't fly over uh, property or people within 30 metres. Is, uh, is, is that with any drone, in, even the, like a mini drone? In? Yeah, yeah, or drone. Okay. So a bit of common common sense prevails by the user. Um, you know, the the uh, the geo fencing on DJI still doesn't prevent you from flying within 30 metres of um, 
people or property. Um, <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's on the on the user to uh, use some co use some common sense. But um, yeah, I, in uh, Queensland, the state I live in, uh, we can fly in the national parks, um, nice. whereas all the other states in Australia, uh, drone drones are banned. So um, from that point of view, I'm very fortunate because you know I can shoot off to those you know waterfalls or yeah. wherever, and boot my heart content. In uh, down in Sydney, Melbourne, or wherever, no way you can't do that. Is it is it likely that Queensland will follow suit in the future? No idea, but I hope not. Yeah. <laughs> I'd get right plenty of park flying in now, just in yeah. case. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, there's some beautiful national parks, um, you know, within a couple of hours' drive of um, of Brisbane. Uh, just stunning, some stunning spots. Oh, as you can probably see in some of the videos. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, just I just feel very, very blessed and fortunate, you know, to be able to, um, mm. you know, capture some of those places. What about what about visitors to Australia? I mean, people coming over to Australia. I mean, you know, obviously, you know, obviously, if, when you live there, you know the rules more. Well. How easy is it to, for someone to bring a drone over and just so right, I'm going to go fly? It. But, well, but yeah, anyone, can, anyone can bring a drone into the country. I mean, once you get it, get it through customs and all the rest. I don't think that'll be an issue. But um, all you need to do is just uh, drop the uh, the CASA drone laws app. Um, which just gives a brief overview of the drone drone laws. It's pretty simple, really. What the drone drone laws are for do, a. Do they, do they ask you to do like a? Do ask you to do like a little online test or anything? I mean, because what, what no. is that test, Marcus, in the states? The trust test. Yeah, the trust test. It's like a. It's a bit like the you know the, the CAA test or even the well, it's, probably, yeah, it's more like the CAA law. Just as you say, it's a common sense question. You know, if you're a complete idiot. <laughs> then, then, in, oh, in, a, in, a, in Australia, they trust us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at that. Terry has a trust certificate. Yeah. yeah. I've got, yeah. got mine on my phone somewhere. I don't know. Hey, hey, Ross, so when you're talking about 30 meters from uh, property or people, does that mean you have to be 30 meters above property? You can't be with anywhere no, within 30 meters of it? Or so you not fly over? private property at all or be within uh, or over people at all? Yeah, you, you do a straight line below the um, the drone and, and do a ring 30 metres around it. That's, yeah. that's yeah. how it works. Very good. That answers it. It's, it's like, a, it's like a, you make it like a tube, isn't it, basically? Well, I must admit, I must admit um, every now and then on, um, be it face, well, Facebook in particular, you see some... Um, uh, videos that have dropped, and you just shake your head and say, "Gee, I hope, I hope Casa, Casa, as in the FAA or whoever, mm. I hope they're not looking at that because it, <laughs> in blatant breach, you know." So I take uh, it quite, they're quite strict, then, Ross. I mean, obviously, you see, you know, they're likely to come after you if you're um, publishing videos and all that. No, I think um, uh, for those for those uh, flyers that do have. An REPL, which is a recreational license, or um, you know your commercial license. Yeah, I think Tasha would probably take a stronger hand. But for those recreational flyers, I think uh, in the main they'll just give them a warning first and say, "Hey, listen." Give them a warning. Snap the drone in half as they don't do it again. <laughs> that, that thirty meter rule sounds quite reasonable to me. That. That well, good. I mean, it, it's 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 a, a similar in the UK. I mean, the first meter rule, I think, is, but obviously with with two you know, sort of like uh, mini drones and whatever, that doesn't exist. Right. Just, yeah, no, I, I just thought of something. Here would be the exception: is the FPV flyers, the guys that fly Avadas. Quite frankly, <laughs> hey, you're going to be within thirty meters of things all the time, aren't you? So that's a little different. Sure. Well, it's interesting that. Uh, interesting you say that, Marcus. With FPV, um, you know that the rules of CASA rules applying to FPV are quite strict. You know, you need to be a flying uh, within a club. You need to have a spotter, um, and uh, I would say 90, 98 percent of the FPV 
um, videos uh, of flying FPV in Australia are technically illegal. Um, but, you know, each their own. Um, the cutter rules are very strict on FPV. Yeah, I that that like I said, that 30 meter rule at first, because I think I was thinking from a perspective of a camera drone, I thought, well, that's not bad. But then if you think about FPV, then it's a whole different story. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, certainly, um, I think the how do I how do I describe it in Australia? I think uh, the minute we have um, a member of the public hit by a drone. Or, or, you know, it hits an aircraft or what have you, you know, something very serious. I think uh, that's when CASA will, um, you know, start getting a lot stricter with their application of their um, laws. It only takes one thing, one incident, and that's it. I mean, those are like, you know, because it's almost like a, it's, it's waiting to, it's an explosion waiting to go off, as it were, as it's just sitting there, and one thing wrong, and that's it. It's, yeah, so I mean, my message to all the all the uh, recreational flyers in Australia is, don't you be the one that uh, lets that happen, you know? Right. Um, mm. You know, just fly it safe, fly with some uh, due diligence, and uh, you know, we won't have a problem. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that's the thing. I mean, Dave, Dave Cullum mentioned in the chat there that obviously there are people, you know, who fly out the law. They, they on YouTube without a care in the world, you know. And, well, good luck to them. But at the end of the day, what they don't realise, people are doing that, but actually, just making more and more issues for every other drone flyer. So, right. for other people, that's, that's the issue. Certainly, certainly in Australia. I mean, as as you said before, um, there's a lot of wide open spaces to uh, fly. Yeah. So, really, there's just no excuses. You know, no. just find. Find somewhere where there's no people and uh, and have fun, yeah. you know. Mm. Probably the same, uh, you know, where you live, Marcus. You know, oh. you've got endless wide open spaces. I feel so exactly. fortunate, Ross. Yeah, I feel. Yeah. Yeah. I feel very fortunate in that regard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, the thing is, if you want, I mean, let's face it, most of the places you really want to fly anyway and capture, are not on your doorstep, are they? I mean, they're just sort of somewhere. You know, like when you go flying in Spain, they sort of go flying around a lot of villas and whatever. What, what's the idea of that? You know, just go out and about, sort of, you know, just some nice scenery. I'll tell you, the case in point is that video that Jackie just published. I was, yeah. the colors in those ravines and stuff were exactly. wow. out in the middle of nowhere, not yeah. bothering anyone. Yeah, and it's yeah. the same with Ross's videos. You know, Ross goes out and sort of goes out to places where. You're not interfering with anyone else's general. Some of those, some of those beaches, some of those beaches, Steve. I can't even find a person. Um, <laughs> you know, I can't even find footprints on the beach. You know, that nice. some beautiful beaches down down to the south of here. Hey, Quackers is making a good point. I yeah, so totally agree with that. Yeah. Totally yeah. agree with that. I mean, let's let's face it. They the, the, the thing is, though, Mark, is what I've noticed. I've, I've I've seen sort of quite a few of these channels, or at least three that I'm not going to mention. Um, that you know, they, they they deliberately know there's going to be repercussions, or, or, or they're going to get some sort of you're not allowed to film here because you know they, we know that most people do not. Well, people who don't fly drones certainly don't know the drone rules. I'm not saying everyone knows, yeah, but you know, there are a lot of people who don't know what the drone rules are. They've never flown a drone. They've only ever seen or heard of them. But yeah, you go, the sort of people going out just to say, right, this should be fun. There's a police academy here. Let's go fly around here. Oh, they're looking for trouble and they find it. Yeah, and then spout the law to people. Say, you can't do that. I can do this. Well, I'm going to carry on anyway, if you don't mind. I'm going to go yeah. fly me drone. Yeah. Yeah. But in, Australia, in Australia, I've had um, probably a, two or three incidents where people said, oh, yeah, yeah you can't, don't fly here, um, you know, over my property or whatever. Um, but in the main, uh, the issue for me is actually people coming over to me and saying, oh, I want to see, you know. Right. Yeah, and I thought, yeah. you know, they're they're in, interested in uh, what I'm doing, but uh, you know, I have to tell yeah, them. Nice. I have to that. tell them, hey, listen, you can't be can't be standing here whilst I'm flying. Well, um, it, I mean, yeah. realistic. I mean, we, you know, 
one of them was said, well, I'm without flying. And he doesn't. He does make a traction. If you are out in the middle of nowhere, don't matter where you are filming, you might be in the middle of nowhere. And if someone just happens to be there, they're going to make a big art because they're just curious. And I always say to them, you know, obviously, bear in mind that people are, you know, when they talk about flying near people, people are involved. So if people come up to me, I just say to them, by the way, because you're standing here, you're now involved. If you don't want to. <laughs> normally, normally, normally what I do, Steve, is if, if they come over, if, if the drone's, you know, uh, the old saying, more than 30, 30 metres away, I'll happily, you know, show them what I'm doing and all the rest of it. Um, but then, if I if I'm bringing the drone back in to land, I, I tell them, "Hey, listen, you have to move, move away from me while I'm landing." Yeah, safer. That's fair enough because it is like if something was to happen, you know, you, 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 feel, you stay there, and something happens, and the drone hits them. <laughs> that's it. You're in trouble. That's hey, it. Have you guys, have you guys seen Billy Kyle's latest video? He just posted it today. Uh, he had a, a Mavic 3 Pro that he was flying and, uh, uh, and and had an ESC error and the drone literally fell from the sky. So really? this, this is a top-of-the-line drone, you know, probably as safe as you're going to get. But you always have to keep that in mind. There, there was nothing he could do. The, the, an ESC just gave up and the drone tumbled down and, and uh, hit the ground. So you, you do need to think about those kind of things. It can happen. Exactly. We, we've seen that here, Marcus. You know, batteries exploding and uh, well, yeah, exactly. out of the sky. Yeah. And it well, you imagine, Jerry, you, when, when that happened that time, you imagine if someone been on a cycle or so, that, that drone just came out. There's nothing you could have done about it. The drone just yeah, fell. It, was, time, it, it, it was very, very fortunate because a cyclist just, just went past. <sighs> yeah, it, but it missed him, thank goodness. I thought you were aiming for him. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, you know, I have my eyes shut. Yeah, <laughs> it's very true. I think you're going to have to watch Terry, you know, Mark, because I'm suddenly realised. I think mean, Terry just does like this demolition derby thing. Well, I'm going to see Jackie's video. I'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's fun. Uh... I took some convincing, didn't I, Jackie? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to get you. <laughs> Hi Gary, no, Sean's rescheduled for um for, for March now. Um, it's um, we've had a bit of some to Ross. He had a, big gig. He had a conflict. Yes, I mean that's the thing. He's so busy, you know. He can't be sort of down, down. I've just I've just left it with the ball with him now. So hopefully he'll let me know when in March he can make it. Hopefully. As if the diary isn't full by then, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> working on it, exactly. Right. Okay, right. So, video time. Why well, Facebook? I just want Facebook to, Brian made a good comment there. Most of the farmers around him, they just they they love seeing his footage. Yeah, right. that's true. Yeah. When I, was up flying, <laughs> when I was up flying with Brian, I mean, we were filming the, uh, the the combines and whatever, and there's no, you know, oh, hey, what are you doing flying that combine? You know, we obviously weren't too close to the combine because didn't want to lose a drone. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> Brian, Brian probably knows them all anyway. <laughs> Very small community. Right. We talk about dolphins. Earlier. I'm not sure if this is the same one, Ross, but we're going to show it anyway. So here we go. Yeah.
Oh, that was Amazing, fellas. Hello, gone. Oh, well. Someone's asked. Yeah, brother. <laughs> 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 well, he knew it was close to joke time and he didn't want it. Well, that's it. Yeah. Wow. Dave Collins says, were you using any filters filming that, Ross? Uh, in that in that shoot, it was interesting. Those uh, uh, stand-up board paddlers uh, that I captured, after after uh, finishing the shoot, uh, Michael and myself uh, went to a coffee shop nearby yeah. and uh, on the very next table was those board paddlers. Oh, cool. Did you yeah. tell them we were filming them? <laughs> yeah, I said, I, you know, I filmed you guys, and um, uh, I said, look, I'll give, give me your email and I'll send a link to you. You know, so they, I think they put it up as a promotional video for their, um, you know, their stand-up board club, whatever. Yeah. Um, paddle board, yeah? Pad, yeah, paddle board, sorry. And, um, yeah. and uh, the other, the other uh, I was fortunate in that shoot, when I was looking down at the um, dolphins or porpoises, whatever, in that last scene with the uh, dolphins, you'll see a seagull come in and sweep down and, and catch the fish. Yeah. I don't know if you saw that. That was wonderful, I thought. Cause you saw the fish come up and then the sea eagle was gone, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, the, the dolphin's you chasing know. the fish and next night the sea eagle comes in and grabs it. It was just a... Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant film, Ross. It was, that was, that was excellent. Yeah. I take it you didn't know they were going to be there when you went there filming. That was just no, there was, a, there was another guy. There was a few other drone fires at the same spot. Mm. And uh, one of them said, hey, listen, um, if you want to capture some dolphins, they're over, you know, wherever, over in that direction. Mm. And, um, yeah, just flew over and yeah, I was just fortunate enough to uh, capture them. Nice. Yeah. Mm. It, it, it's lovely. I love to see dolphins in. The, I'm not a big fan of dolphins in capture. Well, I, I'm, no, I've, I've seen them. People, I've spoken to people who, who look after them and they say, I say, well, are they happy in the, in, in in? Oh yeah, so well looked after. But when I went out to see them in the wild, I was told that. Yeah, the ones in captivity, they, they, they don't live as long. They don't, they don't oh. like it. No. Yeah. I was diving in the Red Sea and uh, just coming up to the end of our time. On the Yemeni coast, Terry? Pod, huh? On the Yemeni coast, was it? I'm oh, joking. Oh. <laughs> 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 <Pretty Terry. laughs> On the Yemeni coast. No, up from there a bit. No, and these dolphins, they were just as painful. But one of them stood in front of me and he stood up on his tail. And this thing was the biggest fish I've ever, well, you're not a fish, a mammal, biggest thing I've ever seen. And I sort of looked at it and I thought, nah, I, I don't want to get anywhere near that. And it just looked, went, and that was it. But yeah, brilliant. And it gives you such a feeling. It's really weird. You know, you yeah. think, wow. Yeah. Caroline wants to have the dolphins think blooming drones. Probably, yeah, probably. <laughs> probably, yeah. He's got a big and I'm going to blow all over him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to capture that, and we're born to remain free. Yeah, I mean, some, some. I agree. In some instances, if, if they're a protected species, or, or you know, do you know what I mean, just if there's not many of them, they're trying to sort of keep them alive, but. Yeah, well, the likes of the white rhino that should be exactly where it is at the moment. Mm -hmm. You know, there's only that few of them left, and um, they're being being bred back into existence. So, yeah, yeah. the pods of dolphins, pods of dolphins in Australia, they're just everywhere, just endless. Yeah. Well, do, well, Ross, do you remember the program called Skippy? <laughs> 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 Is it he still alive? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I went to the, the kangaroo's funeral. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was another program called Flip. I'm not sure where that, where that was filmed, actually. Was that, I think that was, was that an American one, Mark? That's yeah. American, I think. That was in, in the Florida Keys, I think. But, uh, yeah, I, re I remember as a kid, that was really – I never missed that show. Yeah. Oh, the only thing with animals, wasn't it? I mean, we had Lassie. <laughs> <laughs> they call it Flipper. Flipper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Skippy mm. the bush kangaroo. <laughs> oh, oh, Judy says that she did a, uh, a dolphin swim once. Nice. Uh, yeah, I agree, Judy. They are. They're beautiful. Hey, I got a question for the whole panel. Uh, maybe excluding Jackie, I'm not sure. But you know, we're all a little bit older. How about that new uh, Fly app update? That allowed us to increase the font size. Was that spot on or what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you mean, Marcus. <laughs> increase the what, Marcus? I can't hear you. I'm deaf. <laughs> I'm bummed you didn't turn the volume up, Terry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> DJ, yeah, what a good idea. their demographic is, you know, getting a little older, yeah. <laughs> so they're uh, taking it into consideration, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I did see that, Mark, on the news, and I thought that was really good for the, the, they're doing the uh, IVF on those white rhinos. Mm. So that yeah, was good. Mark, uh, Mark was talking about Mark White saying that uh, there's, only, there's only two white rhinos left. Yeah. But but what why the demise though? What why is there only two left? I mean, was it sort of poachers? No, it was poaching. That, yeah, it, nothing else but poaching, and it's the same with a pangolin. That they're going after them for their scales because it's good for Chinese medicine or God knows what else. But those, you know, it's horrible. I think personally, well, I'm. I hate bad soup. <laughs> well. Yeah, just stick to bloody lettuce and cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell I'll tell you a quick funny story. I um to see all these Chinese you know, you hear about all these micro S D cards and how they're you know people are scammed or selling dodgy ones. And uh well I'm normally sort of quite sort of careful what I buy them. I bought long story short, I bought them some very cheap micro S D cards. Oh dear. And I thought, well, I didn't, to be honest with you, because they were cheap, you know, you know what I say about buying cheap, you know. So I thought, well, I'll give them a go just to see what happens. So I bought these couple of um, 256 gigabyte SD cards. I thought, well, right, I'm gonna, I've, got, I've got test equipment that I can actually test the speed, the real speed. And he kept saying, sorry. The disk you're trying to test is four. You need to empty to make some more space. And I'm thinking, what? So they weren't 256 gig then? When I looked on there again, it wasn't 256 yeah. gigs. They were 256 megabytes. Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> what oh, the hell cool. was the thing? Not a lot of use for anything then. Why <laughs> cheap? Why twice? When, when, when I looked at the advert for where I bought them from, it actually said on there. 256 megabytes. So, uh, a convenient time frame in the advertising. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah, right <laughs> on. So, they, they are forgiven because I thought, I honestly thought, oh, this is looking, oh, this is this is misleading. You know, they're putting one thing on and then sending someone else. I mean, <laughs> the, the micro SD card, by the way, went in the bin. So, just, <laughs> but oh, okay. I mean, they were about, I think they're about. Got two pound fifty each or something. Well, not be funny. They probably weren't worth that. There we go. Right. Yeah. So um, before Terry's joke, I think another video is uh, was it? yeah the small print. Yeah, that's one. Let me glass on Caroline. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> but I must say though, the service was very good. It was in a week. <laughs> very helpful that was, wasn't it? Right. Okay, River Lights, Brisbane, Australia. There we go. Enjoy.
I do like, Ross, the way you did the transitions there, where you sank, do the sync of the transitions with the music. Yeah, well, um, I'll, I'll give you a... Um, well, my giveaway there is... Well, I use Phil Mora um, as my editing um, yeah. program. And... Um, it's not just Phil Mora, there's other programs that do the same thing, but you can do uh, Beat Sync, um, mm. which is where you you select the music, then you uh, uh, select the um, you know the video files, and uh, Phil Mora will uh, pick up pick out the best of your um, video footage and then sync it to the music. Oh, right. um, and I then you just, like you just you just drop it onto the program, and then and then obviously you tidy it up. Um, you know, maybe there's one scene that you don't like, and you just tidy it up, and then put in your transitions, put in your intros, blah blah blah. Um, so that's my cheat cheat sheet. It's <laughs> bloody effective, though, really effective. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> Dark music from oh, dark music. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's the old fart yeah. for drugs. That's why. For some reason, I've got a friend here now because he's, he's something spooked him. He came running over and jumped on my lap. <laughs> <laughs> this is my say, say hello, Marvel. I hope oh, he hasn't dumped on your lap, Steve. Yeah. Hello, Marvel. This, this is Marvel. This is Marvel, the, uh, the super dog. Marvel, the mystery do dog. <laughs> You go down there. You can now. Right off you go. Ah! <laughs> 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 Ten <foot up. laughs> Brian oh. says it's joke time. Oh, he did that. Brian. Well, special joke. I got it. I'm ready. <laughs> and now it's time for Terry's joke of the week. Well, I've been collecting one-liners, which I quite like. So, listen to this. Dad, are we pyromaniacs? Yes, we are, son. What do you call a pig with laryngitis? Disgruntled. <laughs> How do bees stay in their hive during winter? Swarm. <laughs> You'll end up paying the price. <laughs> Just so everyone's clear, I'm going to put my glasses on. A commander Ooh. walks into a bar and orders everyone around. <laughs> I lost my job as a safety designer. I left without making a scene. <laughs> <laughs> How much did the pirate pay to get his ears pierced? Mm, a buccaneer. <laughs> 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 I once worked at a cheap pizza shop to get by. I needed the dough. <laughs> <laughs> My friends and I have named our band Davit. Duvet, sorry. It's a cover band. I lost my friend my girlfriend's audio book. I'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it unwise to share your secrets with the clock? Well, time will tell. <laughs> and when I told my contractor I didn't want carpeted stairs, they gave me a blank stare. <laughs> oh, no, and the edge walked into a Dublin bar, and the bartender says, Oh, no, not you two again. <laughs> <laughs> Prison is just one word for you, but for some people, it's a sentence. <laughs> Scientists got together to study the effects of alcohol on a person's walk, and the result was staggering. <laughs> I'm just trying to organise a hide and seek tournament, but good players are really hard to find. Hard to find. <laughs> Went to the toy store and asked the assistant where the Schwarzenegger dolls are, and he replied, I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> I will be back. I'll be back. What did the surgeon say to the patient who insisted on closing up their own incision? Suit yourself. No. <laughs> 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 
throw out a whole round of um, Christmas cracker jokes. They're probably better than Christmas cracker jokes. Let's find something there. They are really bad. <laughs> well, yeah. I've been saving them for a while. There you go. <laughs> Joke of the week. <laughs> I have. I've rubbed the toilet paper on my head again. I'm having a haircut on Tuesday. Yay, that time. <laughs> I thought you were getting your ears lowered, Terry. Yeah. Have you made your head sharp and your ears lowered? <laughs> yeah. Um, I think, Ross, I must, I, I, I'm coming on, on your video, that, the last video we showed. I know you, you said uh, Felon's Brewery. Mm. Well, oh, that's uh, a restaurant, Riverside restaurant. Oh, is that what it is? It's not, it's not a brewery, is, is it? Is, is uh, there's a home brewery and, like, what do you call it? A, a boutique brewery inside there. Uh, I might, yeah. might really call it a microbrewery, like a small yeah. microbrewery, yeah. yeah. It's just a name felon. <laughs> Run by crooks. Yeah, well, my brewery in, in no Raleigh. Oh, oh, it was it named after? What was it named after? Uh, some Tom's. Tom's. I was only joking when I said joke. Joke. It delivered. Yeah, because Caroline said she Caroline's missed. gutted. She missed, made a coffee and missed it. Oh, Caroline, <laughs> all you're doing is to stop. <laughs> Mickey Moo says, bring back Bird and Manny. Do you remember Bird and Manny? <laughs> oh, yeah. You've been listening to Tim Vine. Who's, I don't know, not one. who's Tim Vine? Oh. I know Jeremy Vine, but I don't know Tim Vine. There's a microbrewery mean. Oh, hang on. Wait, wait. Does the microphone mean you only get a little bit? bit. <laughs> yeah. No, no, most of the microbreweries I know, if you drop about two pints in there and you fall all over the place, they say, well, you'll be very pissed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, walk around till fall, fall around after two pints. But, uh, right, okay, so we'll go, we'll, we'll go one more video and we are going to show it. So, uh, oh, there we are. Yeah. Tim Vine is one amazing one liner comedian. Okay, I, I don't know. I must have missed out somewhere. I'll have to Google Tim Vine right it's after the show. Jeremy Vine's brother. Yeah, Jeremy Vine's yeah. brother. Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay, so, um, right, last video of, of the evening. Oh, are you, are you safe? Yeah. To, um, <laughs> we keep. I want more. Ross, Ross could go work in a minute. <laughs>
Excellent. Beautiful part of the world. Yeah. 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 Gary says you're a fantastic videographer and drone pilot. Great stuff. Indeed. Agreed. Yeah. 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 Outstanding. Yeah. Yeah. Don't okay. forget to check out Ross's. Oh, yeah. Got um, a website as well, haven't you, Ross? As well as a YouTube channel. Oh, uh, yeah. well, well, for photography. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Mm. Obviously, yeah. check out Ross's videos. We always say we only show one here on seven twenty, but a lot of these are four K. So just. Go and check Ross's channel out. Well, after the show, some of the, some of the videos of um, upgraded to 8K as well. Um, yes, I do. So if, you, if you have an 8K screen, um, how does that work on on um, YouTube though, Ross? Is that not YouTube, YouTube? You can get 8K. Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, okay. Oh, there we are. If anyone's got 8K TV, but you do need a screen. <laughs> If you haven't, just get two 4K TVs, put them together, and no press them. I'm sure it quite works like that. But <laughs> well, Terry's, Terry's not going to come and touch. Anyway, end of the show. As always, Ross, thank you very much for um, joining us tonight. Oh, Thanks for having me. <laughs> whatever. And uh, keep doing what you're doing. We'll catch up with you again soon. And, um, Definitely. And we'll see you all again the same time next week. If you've enjoyed the show, don't forget to like it. If you haven't, still like it anyway. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're not to like. And what well, was not to like? Then that's indeed exactly. Exactly. That. Okay. Catch you next week, guys. Good night.